Hello Rhinos, how are you all doing? So you've been diagnosed with type 2 diabetes and everyone tells you you've got to keep an eye on your A1C and then you go to the doctor and he gives you one of those. You do your first blood test and it comes out showing MMOL-L or MGDL. Well, aren't you meant to keep an eye on your A1C? How are you do, meant to do that when your reader doesn't do it? Stick around and I'll tell you. My name is John Collett and I'm the founder of Type Rhino. And if you're a type 2 diabetic looking to reverse your condition naturally, then Type Rhino is the channel for you. Give us a subscribe, give us a like, press that notification bell. And please give us a comment below because you never know when your comments might help someone else. So how do you know what your A1C is if you've got a reader that measures your blood sugar in MMOL or MGDL? Now, I'm not going to go into what those mean. I'm not a scientist and I'm not a doctor. I, all I really care about is keeping knowing what my A1C is. So let's have a look at this. So this is a chart, which you I'll, I'll put a link to below. You're more than welcome to have access to it. Um, and what you can see here is three, there's six boxes, but all they really are, if you look at, in the left-hand box where it says HbA1c, the first box, which is in green, is from 4 to 4.9, and then the next box just continues from 5 to 5.96 to 6.9. So as you can see in the photo before this thumbnail is I had just taken my MMOL sugar reading and it was a 6.2. So if we go into the second top box there, look at that 6.2 and we move across, that gives me an A1C of 5.3. So what's all the color coding mean? Well, the color coding basically gives you an idea of what's good and what's bad. So if you're in the first box, that's normal, that's optimal, that's a fantastic place to be. And that's, that's, that's somewhere where you're looking to be. If you're good to marginal, which is in the second box, which is where it was 6.2, then you can see that I'm in a good good place, just, just, just above good, just above marginal there. And then if you keep on going further across, the way this goes from yellow to orange, the third box on your right, that says at risk, at risk levels. And then when you get down to the purple, dangerously high, and then red, many complication, and then dark red, slow motion suicide. Okay, so to give you an idea of where you need to be. So what, the reason mine is 6.2 is because when you actually measure your blood sugar, it's over a three month period. And I'm still in a three month period where I went on holiday and I had a week off. <laughs> okay, so it's like, so uh, I, I, uh, I let things slip slightly. So the reason why I'm in 6.2, that's actually still coming down. The last time I did my blood sugars, that was actually a 6.8. Um, so you can see uh, that's MMOL, which would have given me a uh, A1C of 5.6. So there you are. So that is what it all means and that chart is going to allow you to actually keep an eye on your A1C in future. So I hope that is useful for you. So I'm going to put two other videos up in the court, it, on the left hand side here for you to have a look at and a subscriber button there on the right hand side and uh, please continue to educate yourself about type 2 diabetes and how you can reverse yourself, your condition naturally. And please remember you're not a number, you're a rhino. No charge.